Quarantine. Memo to all staff. There's been some confusion on the topic of my lunch. I will clarify. The person delivering my lunch is to use no less than four, four Kleenex brand tissues to carry the bag into the screening room. He is to open the bag with his right hand and hold it out to me on a 45 degree angle so that I may reach into the bag without touching the tank. Hello? Howard, it's Juan. Oh, Juan. Right. Right, we have a meeting. I remember that. Uh, listen, I got a hell of a cold here, Juan. I don't want to get you sick. I'd never forgive myself if I got you sick. You don't want to get sick, Juan. I got all the accounting here. ExxonMobil is trading at 1366 per share. EcoFuel is trading at 424. If we do a simple come trade Come on, here. come on, come on! Look, we both know I'm not gonna sell EcoFuel, and if I show up at Senator Brewster's hearings, it could get real nasty for all of us. More so for you, I think. All the good American people who lost sons in Iraq. <laughs> you were producing a dirty movie and uh, the green gasoline for a car that doesn't drive. That's just not fair. The XR 111 drove quite nicely for an hour and 45 minutes, Juan. You know what? It was, it was very exciting stuff. Be that as it may, you still have to account for the wild turkey. It's called the Falcon, goddammit, and it will drive. I hope so. America ought to know what it's $13 million bought. I won't sell EcoFuel! I know. I'm going to get it anyway. You're going to default on your loan from Equitable when Senator Brewster destroys your reputation. You won't be able to raise more capital to save your fuel company. The hearings will also say that uh, Hughes Automotive is mismanaged and incompetent. It'll go bankrupt. You won't be insolvent. You'll still have tool coal. Perhaps you'll go back to Houston and rebuild your empire. I rather hope you do. So when you return, it'll be in a car running on ExxonMobil gas. Yeah, well, it sounds like you got me in a real corner here, buddy, and that's not a position I feel very comfortable in. Even less comfortable at the hearings. Very public, Howard. Lots of cameras, newsmen. Understand you don't feel very comfortable in crowds. Perhaps we could uh, spare you that. Oh, yeah, well, I appreciate your concern. Okay, I find that very moving. It's been a pleasure, Juan. No one's gonna take you back to the airport now. Fly safe. Thank you, Howard. You take care of that coal. Yeah, I certainly will.
Come 